Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. On today's episode, we're going to review some of my favorite pistols, and those are the 1911s, the 45 ACP. Guys, this is a special unit here. This is an actual MUSOC pistol. Okay, so back around 1985 or so, the MUSOC was the Marine Expeditionary Unit Special Operations Capable Pistol. What they were looking for, now yes, it is a standard magazine. You know, you're going to hold 7 plus 1, or in some of the mags you can hold 8 plus 1. But this was done by the Precision Weapons Systems and the armors at Quantico. So this is the real deal. They used Springfield Armory slides up top. The bottoms, there were some restrictions on how far back they could go. I think it had to be a pre, uh, pre-1954-ish or something like that lower receiver. Uh, they were saying that some of these pistols actually have half a million rounds on them. Typically, after about 10,000 rounds or so, they would be sent back to the armors. They would be rebuilt. It does have the Novak sights, but this is basically custom built by a gunsmith at PWS. This is 100% correct. This is a MUSOC pistol. So I'm really looking forward to shooting it. It does have no slop. It, it is a solid, solid pistol. Now, you know, for contrast and comparison, I actually have a 45 that was part of the Army Marksmanship Unit with me today. It's one of my other pistols. I've never reviewed it. It's old school, um, but it's something they used with the Army. So I want to compare the two. I'll shoot it on some plates and check it out. I'm going to let you guys look at this. I'm going to actually cover up serial numbers and whatnot for no other reason than it just needs to be and let you take a look at it. I know some of you guys might say, well, it's just kind of plain. It looks like a Springfield operator. You don't understand the attention to detail and everything that goes into this. This is 100% correct. This is a MUSOC 45. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to shoot it on the plates. We'll see how we do with the 45. All right, guys, so we're out here at the range. We're at 10 yards. I want to see how this MUSOC prints first. It does not have adjustable sights because it has the Novak. So let's see where it's at at 10 yards. There's a little seal down there with an eagle. Looks like a presidential seal. So let's go ahead and see what kind of group I can get at 10. Here we go. It is in the eagle. In the eagle. Six o'clock of the eagle. In the eagle. Two o'clock. Guys, this thing is a tack driver. We're going to walk up here and we're going to check it out, see what it looks like. All right, there it is. There it is, the Eagle target. So I'm pretty impressed with it. The accuracy is definitely there. Let's go ahead and see what other drills we can do. All right, so I've got the Muse sock. We've got a plate rack here at 15 yards. What I'm going to do is I'll shoot a plate or two or three, and then we'll go transition right. We'll hit that uh, IDPA man steel on the right, and we'll come back to the plate. So first off is the Muse sock. Here we go. Accuracy's there, sure is in a nine millimeter, and these are shots that you gotta take your time on. It is far enough where you can't just double tap it. Um, you're not gonna be able to go that quick with it. This thing's got a good feel to it. I like the Pacmire grips, and I'm not a huge fan of Pacmires in general, but with this pistol, it just seems to work. It was a good solid hit in the center on the right there. It is a tack driver for sure. Let's try another one. We'll go for the hostage target at the top. Nicked the hostage. Would have got the bad guy though. All right, let's try the hostage target on the right. I'll go center first, and then I will go hostage or uh, bad guy top left. Here we go, center and bad guy. I'm actually nicking a little low on that bad guy. Let's check that again. He's kind of bladed. I don't know if I want to be able to get him. There it is. Flipped him over. Man, this thing is a tack driver for sure. Bad guy. And center. Solid. Very, very accurate pistol. I can see getting pretty quick with this. A lot of firepower. All right, since this is going to be Marines versus Army, here's an old school San Colmar. This is an Army marksmanship pistol. This has every single inscribed little engraving from the gunsmith that built it. Uh, this is old school. It's not pretty to look at, but let's see how it shoots. We're going to shoot the spear, 230 grain. And what I will do, um, if you guys can see up there, there's actually a die. It's got four. It's the number four. 
I can see it from here, we're at 10 yards. Let's see how this thing prints, hopefully functions, and doesn't blow me up. I've never, I've never actually shot this pistol. I've had it for a little while, but uh, we're gonna go there and see where it shoots. It does have Bomar sights. Okay, so she is a hair low left. Definitely not as accurate, because now I am top right. So she jumps around a little bit, unlike the Musoc. Uh, that actually missed that die altogether. End the die. End the die. And guys, this, you can definitely tell it's got a lot of rounds on it. This is a, this is a rickety pistol. Uh, I would like to know the round count on this, but I picked it up for a song. It still had, held everything pretty decently. It's not bad, uh, all in all. We'll see how it does on the plates with the same drill. All right, so here's the target. That was that first round out of it. Once we got the first round out of it, everything's right here. So honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, the recoil impulse feels a little softer on this for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it just needs some oil or something, but uh, it does feel like it's a little retarded in the in the action itself. I did put one of the X-Ring Customs, the ones that I sell on Etsy that I made, it was already drilled for a magazine release, so I put it on there and it actually, actually looks pretty good on there. Works well. Let's try this on the plates. Here we go. I can shoot this faster. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Jeremy on it. I wanna see how he does comparing the two. I have no experience with this pistol. I picked it up for a song. I wasn't gonna pass up on it uh, because of the history that's with it and everything else. It could be the sights or it could be the other one on the hammer spring here. This actually has the curved hammer spring and it just fits my hand better for recoil. I think I would definitely run faster times with this on the plate rack, but let's see how Jeremy does with it. All right, so we have Jeremy with the Musoc. What he's gonna do is the same setup. He's gonna do three, one, three, from low ready. Three hostage, come back. Well, just go center. That's all I did. All right, ready? Go. Nice. All right, not a bad run, Jeremy, look good. All right, let's try it with the Army Marksmanship pistol. All right, we got Jeremy on the Marksmanship unit pistol, old school, same drill. All right, Jeremy, stand by, low ready, go. Nice. Looks like he's gonna do a mag change. All right. I don't know if that's me. First yeah. impressions as far as the pistol. The pistol itself, I love this. I've always enjoyed an arch mainspring housing, and this just happens to have some nice little palm swells. Yeah, it does. It feels great. I love a well worn 1911. It just screams street credibility. Yeah. You know. Well, Jeremy, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, All right, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. Musoc Army Marksmanship Unit. Load and make ready. We're going to point at the edge of the gravel here. At the edge of the gravel, safety must be on. And then we'll go three, two, one, go. And we only have four rounds each. So we allow one makeup shot, but we're, he's got the three right steals. I have the three left steals. Low ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Army wins. I got lucky. I got lucky. We're going to do it one more time. Let's swap. Okay, we'll stop, swap. All right, guys, we're having so much fun with this, we actually ran out of ammunition. So he has two rounds, I have two rounds. We've switched pistols. Marines, Army. All right. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll say three, two, one, go. And then when we went on go is when we engage targets. All right, three, two, one, go. Stoppage. He has a stoppage, that's not his fault. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Like I said, we're just out here having fun. Wanted to bring some classic pistols to you. I love this old stuff. Jeremy, thanks for the help. Oh, I'm um, sucking today.
<laughs> like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.